Happy Halloween, YouTube community. It's me, John Avenger, once again. I'm wearing my orange t-shirt. Mets are in my blood. Yeah, it's orange, so it counts for the month of Halloween. And also for the month of November, which is, you know, Thanksgiving coming up. So let's review one last movie before the month of November, shall we? This is a 2003 Japanese kaiju movie, which is a monster movie. It counts for, tonight, for today. Directed by Masaki Tezuka. Yeah. It was uh, written by T uh, Tezuka and Masahiro Yokotani. Excuse me if I don't say the names right. I'm not Japanese. And produced by Shog Shogu T T Tuyama. Produced and distributed by Toho. This is the 28th film in the Godzilla franchise. The 5th in the series in the Millennium series from 2000 to Final Wars. And the 27th Godzilla film produced by Toho and a direct sequel to the 2002 film Godzilla against Mechagodzilla for some reason is getting re-released. Uh, in a few days for a Phantom event. The film features the fictional monster characters Godzilla and Mothra, along with the Mecha Godzilla, who is referred to in the film by Kiryu. Yeah. Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Mm hmm. I've only seen this film a few times because, you know, I rented it at Blockbuster many years ago because it was one of the millenni Millennium series that I had not seen because it wasn't released here in in until uh, Final Wars came out and all the subsequent Godzilla movies the, the, the predecessors came out on DVD and Blu-ray and digital and this film is fun it's not perfect there's some slow spots in the beginning because every Godzilla movie has to show the monster like a flashback of what happened before there's a bunch of people talking looking at screens and seeing what to do about the monsters etc etc you know how the plot goes for these kaiju films it happens in all of them Rodan, Mothra uh, uh, War of the Gargantuas whatever it is it's 91 minutes long, though, so it's surprisingly shorter than the the 2014 Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and um, even Godzilla vs. Kong. So, there's that. It stars Noboru Kaneko. You're not going to know any of these actors. Miho Yoshiaka, Mits Mitsuki Koja, Masami Nagasawa, a lot of Oz, uh, Chihiro Osuka, Ko Takasuki, etc., etc., yeah. And uh, you have Sutomo Su 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 Kitagawa as Godzilla because, uh, you know, um, Naka Nakajima was already too old to play the part, so they got a new actor. And it, it's, it's the only installment in the franchise millennium period to share continuity with the original film from 1954, which is also getting re released at the Alamo Draft House next week. Namely, Godzilla against Mega Godzilla in Japan. It was followed by Final Wars, which was released in December of 2004. This is a plot, just in case you want to care about the plot. 2004, Kiryu undergoes repairs and modifications after his battle with Godzilla one year earlier. However, the, show, the Shobijin warned the Japanese government that Godzilla continues returning to the country because they used the original Godzilla skeletons in Kiryu's construction. If they return the bones to the sea, Mothra will take Kiryu's place in defending Japan. Due to Mothra attacking Japan in 1961, that was the original Mothra, Prime Minister Hayato... Rashi refuses but agrees to discontinue Kiryu once it kills Godzilla, which they never do. They kill him and he comes back. Godzilla and Mothra fight, but the former has the upper hand. With the repairs finished, Kiryu joins the fray, but the Godzilla knocks both it and Mothra out. Blah, blah, blah. There is a post credit scene if you haven't seen this. I'm going to just spoil it right now, so just see it. See this. I recommend you seeing this at least once. In a post credit scene, an undisclosed laboratory is shown with canisters containing the DNA of numerous kaiju. Wink, wink. In the Japanese version, an unidentified voice announces that a bioformation experiment involving an extinct subject is about to take place, leading up to Final Wars. And uh, I think the characters are not really that memorable. That's one of the flaws I have with it. The action's good. The monster action is really cool. I love Godzilla's look in this movie. Uh, there's plenty of kaiju, you know, destroying buildings and, and fire blasting and a lot of fire, you know, a lot, a lot of, uh, th I think there's some blood in the movie as well. And it is entertaining. So if you're looking for something this Halloween that's short and to the point that has a lot of action without being a superhero movie, this is the movie for you. It received mostly positive reviews from journalistic reviewers when it came out saying that there are some problems with this film, but when all is said and done... I really enjoyed it. While the movie seems to be aimed at a younger audience without a lot of plot, but it's not a kids' movie. It's not like Godzilla's Revenge, which is it's got stock footage and 
bad comedy and, and minya talking in both versions, the Japanese and the American dub, it's ridiculous. This is not as ridiculous. It's still fun. The fight scenes are exciting, and though they took up most of the movie, they never dragged or got boring, because the movie's not two and a half hours, or in the case of Avatar, three hours. It's not that. Monster movies do not need to be that long. Just entertain me. And on a side note, the movie is, uh, you know, it, it's not, uh, it's well produced too. Like, it's mostly written well, you know, it's not like it, it has like a bunch of plot holes in it. And it's a good looking film, you know, the monsters don't look cheap. They're still peak guys in rubber suits. They only use CG when it's necessary. Most of the time they don't use CG because Toho knew that the CGI didn't look that great in Godzilla 2000 onwards. So they mostly stuck with practical effects. The one that use CG, Sometimes it doesn't look... Sometimes it looks okay. In Final Wars, most of it looks pretty awesome. But sometimes it looks a little bit dated, especially by today's standards. But it's still a movie I would definitely watch again. It's been a while. And uh, would you should you see the Japanese version or the dubbed version? It depends on your taste. If you don't want to read subtitles, you can see it dubbed. If you like the original language spoken, then subtitle is right up your alley but anyway i think it's entertaining so have a safe and, and careful halloween out there don't throw eggs at buses stay home if you have to if you take your kids trick-or-treating make sure that they're you know visible and uh, i'll see you guys in the month of november thanks for watching my videos all month and see you later